here we go guys uh, we got all but the uh, two pieces that we had to fix sanded and ready to go make sure you shake your stain up really good um, if you just bought it then it'll probably be alright probably just need to start we were using carbon gray um, barathane dries in an hour achieve color in one coat um, see anything close to the flooring that we got we are not putting any poly which is clear coat basically because our flooring doesn't have a shine to it so we're not going to make the trim have a shine to it either and I will tell you that it took forever for us to find this color that would match and look in there that's all that I used Whenever I did my living room and dining room. But we're going to get this stirred up. And then we'll show you guys staying a short piece and a long piece. But. It's going to take me a minute. You guys don't need to see that. And I need to change my battery. We're done sanding. You guys don't need that dust on you. So, what we do is we take an old t shirt. Um, Preferably not your wife's. But we just cut it up into little pieces. We'll fold it over. Then we'll fold it over. And we'll use a piece about that big. We'll dip it in the stain. Get it getting wet. This piece here, the top edge needs to be done on. So we'll start there. Dab it down in there. Work it back and forth. Like so. Alright. Now here's the critical trick when you're staining. This stuff is oil based and you can end up with little lines from the stain. So just start at one end, go all the way down to the other end, and get yourself a good clean wipe. Don't use a brush. Don't use a sprayer. You, people use sprayers with this stuff, and they waste so much with over spray. All you need is a little rag like this right here. Just take it and start wiping it. And look. Thing up, pull it up, pull it up. If you don't like getting stuff on your fingers, you can use a pair of gloves. Me, it doesn't bother me none. We'll do that. 
I see we're rubbing right there. If it's not taken, we're not going to put any more on. Because we want the stain just to give the wood have a natural finish. Not natural, but just let it do its own thing. Give it character. Alright. So now we got those edges done. So now I've touched this back edge. So I'm going to set it up here on my little 2 by 4s And I'm just going to wipe all the way down. All the way down. That's what it'll look like when it dries. So you have a little bit of wood look, but it's mostly gray to uh, match the floor. Now, some of you are asking, well, what about the longer pieces? How do you do the longer pieces? Same way. Let's get one for you. Here's a longer piece. Uh, what? Probably about six and a half feet. So, just do it the same way. Find the edge to start with. And just go. We'll start with. That edge here. What piece is this? Close it right outside. Okay. Check for the pieces. If you're doing like I'm doing, and you're repurposing them, you check your pieces so you know where you need your stain at. Because like for my flooring, the bottom edge here, I don't have to do. You don't need to do your joints, where your joints are, your miters, you don't need to do them. So, alright, we have that one edge done. Now we're going to set it down, we'll move you guys around. Come here. Might be kind of dark, I apologize. Right. Start in the middle. And just work our way back and forth. That stain. That little soak that stain right up. see like here watch right here it's where I put the wood putty this stuff covers that right up now this one has some cracks in it which I didn't fill I left them there for character and I didn't sand them out you don't want it to be too perfect there's another piece that split we didn't fix. It'll be alright. Keep rubbing it back and forth. Mm. Third one in, work 
Like right now. Move over. Press your way back down. Now we'll do the edge. One swoop. One pass. One down. And bring it back. And uh, that, folks, is how you repurpose, stain your trim instead of buying new trim. And new trim is expensive. Avoid painting it, pick it up, spend a little bit of time, sand it. The sander itself was like 20 bucks. Sandpaper is like two bucks. Um, and you get a pack of it. Uh, for this, you only need 60 grit to take your old finish off and then 220 to finish it with. Some stain, I mean, you're under a hard box into it. I'll say, sander was 20 bucks. I'll say the stain was 13. So you're 33. So you've got 10 bucks in sandpaper. Call it 45 bucks, 50 bucks. Call it 50 bucks. A little bit of time, you know. And you can make your trim stuff look nice. And if you go out and you buy new trim, that's fine. Go out and buy new trim. But then, what you got to deal with, and some people are good at, some people aren't. I'm still practicing. You know. See that joint? And I understand that not all houses are going to be the same. Okay. I get that. But if you have nice trim work and your joints are all cut nice and everything's nice and tight like mine were, there's absolutely no point in redoing it. It's very, very time consuming. And one piece of trim like that, I'm not saying this particular style, but one piece of trim can cost you 60, 70 bucks. So. For what you pay for one piece of trim, you can buy this stuff and with a little bit of time and effort, you can do it yourself. Yeah, we'll call it 50 bucks with wood putty. You know, so we're going to get this done. We'll show you guys what the finished product looks like. And um, depending on how I do this video, how I upload this video, we may show you what it looks like. I may save the video until I get the area that I'm working on done with the flooring and everything and show you guys what trim work and everything looks like around the closet. I'm not putting the trim around the front door just yet because we're going to get a new front door and replace it. And that would be pointless. But we'll do trim around the closet and flooring for the floors. So there you go. Something different. Um, stick around in the garage. But we'll show you the finished stain product when we get it done.
show you guys something here. I will try. I'm not good at editing, so I can't promise nothing. But I'll try to get back and do like a screen capture and do it side by side. But there's after. Hopefully I can make the camera show you guys that. That's how much I've used. So I mean for thirteen dollars and all the trim that I've stained with it, it's well worth it. And I've still got more to do around the house. One ring at a time. Trying to. Trying to. That's some. I, I'm happy with that stuff. It turns out relatively well. It dries pretty quick. Show you guys here. That's finished product. Just one coat. The edges on these, the ones you see that the edges aren't done on, that's because that edge goes to the bottom. It, that's for the floor. So, that is the closest we could find for the flooring that we've put down. Like I said earlier, it shows a little bit of wood grain, but gives you the gray look as well. It really sets the room off with a trim like that. I am super excited to see once we get the trim work around the closet up and everything how that looks and get bifold doors put on um took the cheap chintzy bifold doors off and we're going to actually put solid wood bifold doors on it's not much option for anything else it's a big closet so there's no way to like open a door or double doors because it's right by the front door um we may, I'm not sure, we may save this video for when I get that room done, with the exception of the bifold doors, and yeah, or I may save it till I get the bifold doors, I don't know, I'll probably save this video until I get that whole room done, but uh, this, this is what I'm doing while I'm off with uh, my back screwed up, um, what about a month ago we went to the ER posted a picture on Instagram I read with UCM pigs down in Elkins West Virginia you guys should have seen that video I'll leave a link to his videos in the description from his whole little trip but I got to get a ride with him and when I got home I just I couldn't move and they found a fracture in my back but that fracture has been there for 15 years when I originally fractured my back I'm just having problems I've got some stuff I gotta go do to take care of over in Columbus and see what they say but just trying to do this stuff while I'm off um, and do it at my own pace take it easy uh, this is what we started on on Thursday this is Monday we didn't do anything to it Friday because we didn't have any power. That's why the generator's in the trailer there. And I wasn't, you know, using more of the generator than I needed to. Went ahead and had no light in here anyway. And we're just, like I said, taking it easy. Go a little bit at a time. Work a little bit. Sit down take a break. But my back doesn't hurt as bad when I'm doing stuff and moving. So that's a plus. Hopefully I'll get back to work soon. And at the same time, hopefully we can get this room done and share that with you guys. However, that is this episode of Dick Around the Garage. And like I said, if I decide to save this video, here's the pictures of the room finished, painted, and everything. We did a lot of drywall work. I'll try to do a photo reel for that. Yeah, I'll do a photo reel for that, like the befores and afters and all that stuff. Keep in mind, we still have more work on the trial level we do. So, that's why you're seeing stuff in the pictures the way that you are. But, we'll show you pictures of what it looked like before. As many as I have. I mean, we pulled flooring up and everything else. I'm not sure if I have pictures of that 
before we pulled the flooring up with the carpet and all that stuff that was down. I'll have to look and see. But we'll try to put a nice photo reel and put the befores and then as we progress through and show you the final product is what we'll try to do. So we'll probably just save this video. But uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate your guys' support. Give hit hit that like button. Share this video. Subscribe to the channel if you would please. And remember, you can do this stuff yourself and do it cheaper by doing it yourself. You don't you don't have to buy new. New is not always better. You're not gonna make a new piece of wood look like that. So until next time. We'll see you guys later. Stay safe.